All right, lads, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very special video. So, the mod Der Bruderkrieg has been out for about a year and I'd say a good few months, maybe about four months. And I've never really played it, like, at all. I've never looked so much as loaded into the mod. It's always just kind of existed at the periphery of my consciousness. Age of Imperialism is another mod that we're going to be playing soon that that's also just kind of fluttered around there. I've, again, haven't so much as loaded up that mod. Age of Imperialism seems to be... Out quite a bit longer, it's got a lot more content. But, Der Bruder Krieg has a lore document, and just as we did with the Pax Britannica lore document, we are going to have a read of it. This one isn't nearly as long, it's, yeah, only six pages, Pax Britannica 34. That was a, that was a hefty lore document, I love that though, that was a good video. Now, off we go. So obviously Der Bruder Krieg, the war between uh, Prussia and Austria, this, uh, in this timeline, ending with an Austrian victory. Now, 1866-67, to 67, Austria beats Prussia in the Bruder Krieg. Uh, Prussia loses the Rhineland and other territories to Hanover and the and Austrian-aligned German states. Austria declares the South German Confederation, of course, our own time, and we had the North German Confederation, comprised chiefly of Bavaria, Head, Württemberg, Baden, Hesse, and Nassau. 1867, Luxembourg's purchased by France from the Netherlands. 1869, Thomas Cipriano Mascara installs a reconstruction, regi, uh, reconstruction program over Colombia, initializing a modernization program that would last for 19 years, of course. If you remember from the Pax Botanical Lore document, they had like multiple events per year, all dated, like month, day, all of that stuff. So we're, we're getting uh, one event per year and there's gaps in between the years. Obviously, not nearly as detailed of a lore document, but I'm glad it exists nevertheless. 1870, Third Carlos War, of course, in Spain. 1878, Russia beats the Ottomans, liberates the Balkans. Post-war treaty creates a greater Bulgarian state, much to the chagrin of Greece and Romania. And Serbia and Britain and France, because none of them wanted it. 1884, as well as obviously the Ottomans. 1884, the Conference of Marseille, where Africa is divided. Major colonial gains for France, UK. France establishes the Kingdom of the Arabs, while Russia gets Djibouti. Oh, I wonder if we'll see the Cossacks there. And Austria gets parts of Kenya and Tanzania and establishes Ost Africa. Uh, Oh, never mind, never mind. I, I thought I said that, that uh, my, my my brain skipped over Austria and I, I saw Russia gets Kenya, Tanzania, and I was, I was like, that's not the Russian word for East. Oh, God. Uh, what is it with mods and relentlessly copying from each other? Ost Africa again? How many mods is that? 1886, Rollins Kanzler Bismarck launches a program. Uh, I was thinking about the Columbian event. Rollins Kanzler Bismarck launches a coup against the Prussian King Frederick. Um, probably Friedrich, yeah. Uh, Friedrich with the support of the Volkisch, which leads to the king's exile to Hanover. 1889, proclamation of the Brazilian Republic. 1889, also, uh, Franz Joseph passes away. Rudolf becomes Kaiser. 1890s, rotten years in Dutch history lead to the rise of the Jacobin Party. Holy shit, why are these all so similar? 1897, the, the establishment of a dervish state supported by Austria, which is a branch of Islam, I believe. 1898, Empress Elizabeth of Austria assassinated by young Italy in Milan. I assume that's supposed to be a young Italian, unless there was a, a political group called Young Italy. There may very well may have been. Apologies if you can hear dogs barking in the background. It's quite hot at the moment, so I have the window open. Now, 1898, Spanish-American War ends an American victory. 1898, Austria purchases the Rio de Oro from Spain, which is like that... It's a, it's part of uh, Morocco now, but it's like that southern, kind of southwestern part of Morocco. I think it's pure desert, oh, unless I'm thinking of... No, 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 that's the uh, Rift Republic at the north. Near Gibraltar, well, south of Gibraltar, you know, on the actual continent of Africa. Rio de Oro? Why? There's nothing there. 1899, the first Greco-Bulgarian War ends in Bulgarian victory. Okay, did the Serbs not get involved in that? Interesting. 1900, after pressure from the royal family, Franz Ferdinand denounces his claim to the throne due to his marriage with Sophie. 1900, Bismarck retires as head of the Council of Elders, essentially Prussian Chancellor. Adolf Stoker takes over. 1903, Colombia sells the state of Panama to the United States. 1904, Russo-Japanese conflict ends in Japanese victory and they expand their influence in Manchuria. I mean, I thought that the fleet was always kind of screwed, but like, there's definitely an argument for a land victory there for Russia. Uh, 1905, Russian Revolution... Well, uh, a potential land victory. 1905, Russian Revolution ends in constitutional reform and establishment of democratic ideals, as well as establishment of a provisional government and promise of elections. So is that the end of the... The Empire? Okay, 1905, Petrograd, Martov affair, Martov seizes power over the Russian provisional government. Okay, I guess, like, that's probably, uh, the, uh, Der Bruderkrieg timeline analogue of both the Kornlov affair and the Stalipin coup. 1906, proclamation of the Russian Republic, emancipation of the Serbs. Okay, so, like, the, the monarchy just gives up, no war, no, no wow, well, nearly half expect a civil war out of that. 1907, Russian economy nearly collapses. 1907, the Treaty of Bogota is signed, denoting the Colombian-Brazilian border. 
1909, the United States pressures Colombia into a joint invasion of Nicaragua as a way to mitigate costs due to the already present American incursion in Mexico. U.S. Marine Corps and Colombian Naval Infantry troops occupy blue fields to pressure Nicaraguan President Jose Santos Zelaya to leave office, something that he eventually did. 1909, death of Adolf Stoker, so glad he was in power for nine years. Yeah. Franz von Papen takes over and a division begins to form in the Volkish Coalition. 1909, the first elections in Russian history, three years after the establishment of the Russian Republic. 1910, Xinhai uh, Revolution, Republic of China is formed as the result of the revolution and subsequent defeat of the Qing government. 1911, Powder Slip and a Sap. God damn it. <sighs> okay, so Stalipin's also dead in this time, and of course. Assassinated by Dmitry Bagrov, who escapes from prison. 1911, the Qing Empire collapses. 1912, the Peru Bolivian Argentine naval arms race starts. Let me just quickly check the recording and make sure all is well. Indeed, it appears to be fantastic. 1912, Teddy Roosevelt wins the 1912 elections. Fantastic. 1914, the Panama Canal is finished. 1914 to 18, after years of rising tensions, a Prussian nationalist assassinated Franz Ferdinand's wife and nearly killed Franz, uh, causing the first Europa Krieg. Okay, so is this like World War One, but just in Europe? I mean, I could have sworn. Oh no, I think Age of Imperialism is the model World War One didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my mods mixed up. 1915, the Great Arab Revolt, funded by the Russians and Prussians, is launched against the Ottomans. 1915, von Papen declares emergency powers over the Council of Elders, causing uproar. He promises to relinquish them after the Prussian victory. 1915, coup in Westphalen by Reds causes French inter intervention in the establishment of a satellite state in the Rhine, as well as the occupation of the Saarland. Surprise, he didn't do it sooner. 1916, the death of Rudolf leads Karl to inherit the, the throne. Death of Rudolf leads Karl to inherit the throne, and we live in a society. <laughs> I don't think this Lord Doc has been updated in a while. 1916, Danish government collapses and King Christian X flees to Iceland. The Danish Federation is formed by coalition of public controllists. 1916, the Colombian-American economic friendship is signed. 1917, assassination of Julius Martov, president of Russia, causing Russian withdrawal from Europa Krieg due to political instability and domestic strife. Alexander Kerensky ascends as the acting president of Russia. 1918, Treaty of Vienna inflicted after stalemate favoring uh, the First Brothers coalition ensues. Oh, excuse me. Uh, 1918, the post-war collapse of Greece and occupation of Albania. Bulgaria occupies Thessaly and sets up a puppet government. Yeah, Bulgaria seems to be quite strong in this timeline. I do like to see a big Bulgaria. 1919, Franz von Papen refused to give up emergency powers and is cooed by the Council of Elders. He steps down as demoted heavily in the army and the Volkish government becomes further unstable. 1919, uh, Amritsar massacre in the British Raj contributes to rising tensions. 1920, Antonio de Andrada, a conservative candidate, wins the Brazilian election of 1922. 1921-26, Rift War. Okay, that happens anyway between Spain and Morocco. Ends in Pyrrhic victory for Spain. 1922, formation of the DNSP in Russia, which hope... Oh, sorry, in Prussia, which hoped to overthrow the Volkish and create an ultranationalist pro-worker military government. Hermann Goering, enamored by the propaganda, joins the party. Okay. 1922, Bogd Khan's death. Installment of uh, Temujin as Khan of Mongolia. He goes on to declare himself Genghis Khan II. 1923, Warren Harding's conservative reforms result in a recession for the United States. 1923, uh, Jose Felix Uruburu coups the Argentinian government. 1923 to 26, Second Hungarian Revolution is crushed brutally by Carl I with hundreds of thousands of casualties. The Kaiser Institute's absolute reforms. Of <laughs> and suddenly I heard a million Kaiserreich fanboys cry out in pain. Wholesome Carl would never do this. 1924, the National Infrastructure Program, uh, an instant pogrom, starts in Colombia, ending in 1935. 1925, uh, founding of the Romanian Redemption League, a far-right group of nationalists seeking to overthrow Carl's government and place a military government in power. Okay, are we going to see Cordriano and Sima? Probably. 1925, Lee Stack, British governor of Egypt, is assassinated by Egyptian independence nationalists. The British reaction is strong, and they crack down on autonomy in Egypt, treating Sudan as a separate colony right now rather than a condominium of Egypt. 1926, Kuomintang Northern Expeditions begin, eventually ending in 1928. 1926, Napoleon V is assassinated by a rogue anarchist, leading Napoleon VI to succeed as emperor. 1927, Napoleon VI, under the influence of his liberal tutor Gaston de Murg, signs the French Constitution of 1927, which reduces his powers greatly. High-level military officials disagree with the young emperor's decisions. Okay, a crowned republic then. 1928, Co uh, Colonel Francois de la Roque and right-wing officers opposed to the Constitution launch a putsch against the French government and assassinate de Murg. Napoleon orders them executed much to the chagrin of Pétain. 1928, the Banana Massacre, a massacre of workers for the United Fruit Company, occurred in the town of Siednaga near Santa Marta by Colombian troops aiming to protect U.S. interests. 1928, Northern Expeditions and the Bayang forces are nearly wiped out, eventually collapsing into several governments fighting for control of the scraps. Kuomintang is also affected by a wave of democratic sentiment and anti-government sentiment caused by democratic revolution throughout the Bayang. 
1928, Manchuria forms into a democracy, however creating a power struggle that forces Manchuria into a civil conflict with its ethnic Russian population. I imagine this is where the Japanese step in. 1929, Manchurian war between Harbinite Russians and the Manchu Republic ends. Armistice and White Peace, I'm between the two, okay. What the hell is Japan doing? 1929, the Great Depression escalates. 1930, Colombian uh, economic schemes cause a two-year recession in the national framework, causing massive rights in the principal cities of the country. 1930, a Spartacus revolution against the weakened Volkish government of Prussia allows the military led by Rams Marshal Hermann Göring to launch a coup. 1930 to 31, British soldiers fire on soldiers of the Dandy Salt March, Gandhi killed. The Raj collapses and the British implement the Treaty of Delhi. The All India Provisional Government, led by the far left sects of the Congress Party, uh, the Indian National Congress, led by the moderate and right wing sects, a free Islamic state led by the Muslim League, a southern Indian Dravida Nadu state led by the Tamils, a free Sikh state or Sikh state, and the princely state of Kashmir all form in the process while the Raj is consolidated to Bengal. Wow. 1931, Spanish Prime Minister Jose Primo de Rivera and King Alfonso XIII are assassinated in the San Juro's coup. Was uh, Miguel Primo de Rivera still in charge of Spain for a while in this timeline? Because now his son is dead and that's not great. Okay, so we, we've lost the Lippin, we've lost Jose Antonio, and we've lost De La Roque. Damn, I hate it when mods kill people off. 1931, NP, uh, NPB wins Bulgarian parliamentary election, empowering Franz Ferdinand and shutting down ethnic and public controllers of Franz Ferdinand in Bulgaria? What? I think, I think that must be wrong. That has to be wrong. That, that, that's so odd of France Ferdinand is running Bulgaria. 1931, unless it's like... The... Uh, monarchy house intrigues or something like that. It's odd. Ah, that's odd. I hate that. 1931, minor Arabic revolt in Yemen against the British rule leads to leads the British to ally with the Yemeni Small Hats and the International Small Hat Society hope to create a protected small hat homeland state. 1931 to 33, the formation of an imperial federation and beginning of imperial reforms, such as the formation of the South African Unitary Federation and Australasian Autonomy. That'd be cool to, to uh, see a mod where the imperial federation is already present at game start. 1932, the Bush War starts between Peru, Bolivia, and Argentina, with Paraguay joining Argentina's side a couple of months later. 1932, Louisiana Senator Huey Long elected president. I swear to God, if that is if that said assassinated, I was going to be like, bro, they're killing off all the good ones. 1932, Jose Felix Urbur, the dictator of Argentina, dies due to stomach cancer. Military junta assumes control of the country. 1932, Colombia temporarily occupies Quito until late year due to the increased protectionist policies of the country against trade in the area. 1932, former Viceroy of India, Edward Halifax, elected Prime Minister of the UK. That could be interesting. 1932, Conservative pro-French Leon de Grel wins Belgian elections with support from Action Francaise. Nice. 1933, America and Peru-Bolivia sign a treaty giving the Chaco region to Paraguay in exchange for American and Paraguayan aid against Argentina in the Bush conflict. 1933, David Ben-Gurion declares the Protectorate of New Israel as a homeland for all small hat refugees. The Arabs retreat into the highlands and fight a guerrilla conflict as a result of growing British hostility and the Yemeni small hat state. Uh, Ghalib al hanai launches a coup and declares the Imamate of Oman the legitimate government. 1933, as it was clear that Argentina was to lose the Bush conflict, a public controllist uprising in Buenos Aires formed the Commune of Buenos Aires. 1933, President Herrera signs the Union Act of 1933. Uh, attracting European immigration as a way to form Colombia as an economical paradise for US and other great power interests. Oh, okay, just like Argentina did. Nice. 1933, let's hope their economy ends up better in the decades going forward. 1933, the Treaty of Lima ends the Bush conflict with a decisive Peru Bolivian victory. Uh, Paraguay can never catch a break. 1933, formation of the East Turkestan Republic and the Khaganate of Kumul after the Uyghur Rebellion. 1933, Russia intervenes in Kuomintang slash NRA crackdown on the ETR, sends forces into Xinjiang, eventually brokering a peace deal between the parties. 1933, uh, Bauer Det's coup in Siam overthrows new military government with French support. 1933, Alexander I of Serbia survives the assassination attempt, but his wife dies, leading to his descent into insanity. Soon he begins scaling back reforms, much to the chagrin of public controllists and other nationalist groups. 1933, fearing a public controllist victory in imperial elections, Napoleon throws his, his support behind moderate Pierre Laval. This upsets the various public controllist groups who unite and form the opposition called the Cartel de Gauche, Cartel of the Left, because uh, Drott is uh, right. 1934, uh, Carlos Iberguren is elected the successor of Felix Uriburu by the military junta. 1934, true patriots declare a Dutch revolutionary state and launch the Dutch civil conflict. And the East Indies is immediately seized by the British and Americans who formed the British East Indies and American Naval Command. Patriots in control. All right, that is the lore document. Nice and quick. Six pages <laughs> didn't take... How long was the uh, practical Tentacoon? Was it like an hour and a half? Probably longer, to be fair. But uh, that was a good video. I had some good synthwave in that video. Yeah. But all right, let's hope you enjoyed this short little... I suppose introductory 
episode, uh, the, the first introductory episode to the Der Bruder Creek mod. I think I'm going to play Ernst Rome's uh, Germany again. Uh, like I said, I've literally never loaded in, so I have no idea what the world is looking like at all. Uh, be interesting to see. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you think you'll enjoy the series, please consider liking, subscribing, as well as commenting down below. I shall see... Oh, no. Wait, what? What's wrong with desktop audio? Oh, no, it's back. Okay. Wait, so was, it, was that there the whole time or not? I'll have to check. Oh, man. Okay, my mic is there, though. That's the most important thing. So, uh, if there's no desktop audio, that means it was just me and the fan the whole time. That would be great. But, right, lads, I shall see you uh, tomorrow for the first proper episode. See you then.